Hello, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745. We're here with a um, power playing tip. Yeah. Don't know if that's the most correct term, but that's what we're going to be looking at here. Now, um, this is building up for this is specifically for playing with black ice and particularly with Third Reich events. And we'll get into some of the details there. But hey, of course, if you're new here, gotta say it. Please hit the subscribe button. Hope I'm earning that. And everyone, hope I'm earning a like button. Hit, you know, hit that like button. And hey, if you've got any questions, comments, suggestions, tips for me, post them below. Okay. This is the situation. It's October 18th, 1936. I have started out and been producing nothing but um, industry. And we've already gone through a first major round. This is sort of the leftovers that has this number contracted and gotten a little bigger got some production there so i've been producing industry some constant some we can see here i'm concentrating where there are heavy industry to build multiples some just because we want it out now is just you know spread around so that's doing it i know also notice i have reduced no upgrading and no reinforcing because we're not fighting anything i'm overproducing supplies you need to overproduce supplies with particularly with black ice, but even more so with the Third Reich event. Also, just as a note, I do have German graph or German gameplay augmentation and um, units of the Third Reich and the Dworms mods also installed. Consumer goods, all, you, you want to keep that down is good. Well, so that's the situation. Everything is been doing this. Now, we're going to take a look at a little bit of stuff here, here, here in a moment. We can see here the national decisions. I have not accepted any one of these yet. Let them sit there. Um, some started fairly early in the year. If you don't click these by the end of the year, they go away. They're coded so that they only show up on a, after a certain date in 1936. They won't show up in 37, 38, whatever. So you'll need to do them by the end of the year. So what you want to do is you want to wait for um, this event to come. The four-year plan, you can see, this is the book cover. I'd love to take a look. I'd love to have one. I don't know that we would pay for it. But that is an actual period book cover that I sort of zoomed in and made for the four-year plan. I, I just would love to thumb through it. Probably couldn't you know, hardly read any of it, but um, let's see what it's like inside. So use that as the cover for this. Um, as we can see here, TRE start right down about here when I up here is negative 10% percent on ICs. Third Reich events, again, I want to keep saying this, is not about making Germany easier, about my estimation of historical correctness. So, um, the raw amount of ICs is 192. Recently in the, the game, you'll get four ICs from the, um, the Nuremberg rally event that they happen, and it, it pushes it up here along with what I, and this is the uh, effective but this is the key number here. The middle number is the key number here. That's what we want to pay attention to, not the effective current effective number. So you will, you want this. This will help grow Germany a lot. Um, so, and it's not just this one event. I, there is a black ice for your plan. I don't know which is more historically correct as in um, better represents the growth because of the four year plan. I don't know which is more powerful, if you will, within the game. I just know mine has a lot more immersion instead of um, the have played the, just a black ice one. It's like every year, just a, a generic event comes and you get more more benefits out of it. Or I have it tied to historical organizations, events, and things um, that also give you benefits more than just this. So, so you want to click, um, click this. And Shack resignation, uh, resignation. Now he, um, uh, Helmar Shack, Reich Minister of Economics and President of the Reich Bank. He leaves as Reich Minister of Economics, but he stays President of the Reich Bank historically. Um, but so he goes away, and Goering is put. And I don't like Minister, and I don't like this their title that Black guy's done. Not yet motivated enough to, to change it back to like Minister of Economics or whatever. But you'll want him in there, even with his negatives. You want Goring here. You can also have him over here. Those are, if you notice, this is two different Gorings. You know, this is Herman Goring, Reichwerk, 
HG, Hermann Göring, and this is Hermann Göring, Oberbefehl Ober der Luftwaffe. I'm not sure I'm butchering that, but, um, and they notice they both give resource bonuses. 5%, because this does sort of kind of represent him also going on, because even once the sort of four-year plan, four years go, and, you know, goes on, and the war starts, the four-year plan is still running. It, it, it's like any other government program, especially temporary government programs, they're permanent, they stay on. But it does, it does go away from the main focus of German um, uh, development. And the money is um, there for various negative money is there for various reasons. Um, but so you get Goering there. You want him there. If you replace him, um, it breaks the four-year cha chain plan, um, even for a moment. So you don't want to replace him. Right. Okay. So what you want to do here is we're going to let this go. Here it's 192. This, that, now for safety's sake, since that event's over, I'm just going to save this again. Not that it's needed, but just will do, because we're going to be all tabbing out here in a moment. Okay, we can do more of it right now. I'll get to that. There are a bunch of negative effects that I give um, Germany, as I appreciate. And you get, not only do you get them back, but you get more benefit, benefits later on as the four year plan. That's at least how I. How I view things. Okay, so coming up here. What I'm waiting for, and I know I just played this a little while ago without recording it, but um, my necessary fun, yes. Waiting just to flip over to 200. And that's what you want to wait for. Okay, diplomatic report. Hundred percent attention. It may be in November when this comes due, but we'll see. Okay. Rome Berlin access, yeah. Okay, well, for some reason, I'm going to say this a little bit. Just going to get that. I want to show you something more. Oz willing measure submit research, yes. Here's a little bit of I thought we could have had one right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so now that we're at 200 here, and I'm recording this as my desktop here. So again, I'm just going to save this because it may, because, because a combination of recording and alt tabbing in and out might stress my system enough that it causes a crash. Um, and normally I have this on another window, but I have another screen here. I got some older cheap screens also attached to this. So what you want to do is, is now that it's at 200, here, not, not worrying about the available, worrying about the base IC, because this is calculated, what I'm going to show you on the base IC. Now, even though it sort of shows up there, when I did this before, um, it didn't quite register. So what I'm going to do here is Alt-Tab over to this utility here, okay? Now, I've already got the player set as Germany here. And this is um, uh, daily building. This is daily building and resource calls, um, resource counts. And it's on false now. What you want to do is you want to turn this on. 
So it's true. Now this, we're still this, notice my cursor is the sort of hand here, because this is actually uh, another window in um, Parts of Iron 3 that they've developed with this utility. Wish it would be somehow integrated as a drop down, but I don't know that they can do that. Somebody could at Paradox, but they can't, I don't think. So, oh no, that's not what I wanted to have open. Oh, oh no, um, I'm hitting the wrong key. There we go. That's what I'm going to hit. Okay, we're back here. Now, what you want to do is, oh, well, let's do that down a little bit more. It'll recalculate things every single day. Okay, we've clicked over to another day. And actually, it'll slow things up. You don't want to keep that running all the time. Um, but for right now, it really doesn't matter so much um, because we're not going to keep this thing running. But so now it's recalculated. So it's, I think it's every 15 days it recalculates how it figures stuff out deep in the details of this. Now we have a bunch of these events here, or these decisions. So what we're going to do here is, I'm going to click that one, that one, that one. Create, create, and full divisions. You'll, you'll want to do all of them, but maybe not all of them at the very first moment. Yes, none of this has changed. This will change after on the you know the nineteenth comes up. Um, nineteenth well is almost up. Good. No, well, maybe it'll be the twentieth. Oh, okay. Well, it did come down. It didn't come down very much. Okay, this this is what it did work as intended. I was mainly looking here. I didn't. Pay attention to this number here. You can see down here in the bottom, not the very bottom, but the last three things here. It says five IC units spawn penalty 200, two, and then three, and then 40 IC spawn penalty at you know, 200, four. And so if you trigger this while it's over 150, but below 200, it will give you the spawn penalty at 150, okay? So you can be like at a, a 199 uh, base ICs. It's still going to give you uh, a heavier hit because I think it would be about, for the 40, it's like 25%. So here it's only 20%. So you're, you're saving yourself um, a significant um, amount of... Um, penalty from this. Now, what we're going to do here also is I'm going to just want to sort of show that off in proof of concept. Let's hit all of these. Full division, full division. This should be everything but the turpid. Yeah. Um, for building. Now we're going to wait for the day to click over. Is it 222? Two, two, two. It's a little car. Okay, now we've dropped down faster mail. We've dropped down to here. See a big mass of spawn penalties. Now, again, um, oh, I'm just going to save this here. It's just alt tabbing. Um, now, they, they want you to play it in a windowed mode. Um, it can be sort of a, a tricked full screen windowed mode. I don't do that because I'm recording my um, screen here or the game, and I want it to be this dimensions. Um, so there's reasons I don't and normally normally have this other thing on another window so it's not that bad of a thing and I can alt tab over pretty quickly so um, we're going to turn this off if you want to turn this off you need to turn it off even before this now what you can also do here this is also a bit of a tutorial here is I see days now D safe he <laughs> actually I think shortly after um, thinking of the new and how to do this um, this new ICDA thing, he messaged me with this and it's really cool. Um, DSafe and I, have, you know, he, we work well together here. Um, but he came up with this after the release of Black Ice 11 and I'd already gone in and done so much work on particularly the big German um, events files. Some of the work I did was reducing the penalties for events that shouldn't have IC penalties. Um, the Becker 
particularly but not exclusively the Becker um, upgrade chain that was sort of kind of either should be zero ICs or minimal ICs um, because that's sort of the whole thing so um, and I did that and I know they've gone back and corrected some of the stuff and they've and I haven't gone and looked at all the coding but they've changed it so if you're not playing uh, this still sort of works if you're playing standard black ice or if you know, I get motivated enough or somebody goes in and makes some of the other necessary corrections to the German file, like removing the black ice for your plan stuff so that you don't get their for your plan and my for your plan, which is totally bad just from this. This will allow you here. Um, it's not working now because uh, you have they, they changed the coding and my, my version of the file doesn't have the changes because I just haven't motivated it. You can um, come here with this, and you can do, instead of all of these things at once, which is cutting your ICs down more than half in total, um, and it, that you can do, like, current investment is, like, 10%. You can set it to 20, 30, 40, 50, or 60, I guess, so that um, this is, like, current investment as a percent of your if my understanding is correct and DSafe, if you ever watch this, you can post corrections below. Happy to have them. Um, this is current in, um, investment um, total in all of these things. Um, the, the you know the the penalties. Um, and so, if you want to get the in, the in things done, go through faster. And this is like of your I, I see. So. Um, and you, you could do, you can switch this out and do it. And this would tell how many days left it is to do it. Current daily reduction. So you, if you want to get through it faster, you can, you know, do more percentage. Or if you want to do it um, slower, um, you can have it down to 10%. Yeah, I know. I keep going to black screen. Okay, we're back. Um, and so what that would do is, like I, my understanding again, it would be maximum 10% of your base IC penalty. Um, and this is, in my opinion, open to abuse because with all of these spawn penalties that you can do, stretch it out way past the war. Um, so I don't know um, what, um, if how abusable the system is. And look, um, there's a lot of things in, with, um, I would say, not just with Third Reich events, but also with GGA that um, like the Warecraft system that you're going to get is abusable. You can take all these SA units and spam them all over the world, um, which they wouldn't have done so. Now, they did set up SA units. Um, like in, there was one set up um, uh, in Warsaw. I got documents of one of the guys who was in the SA from somewhere in Germany that gets transferred out to work in one of the remaining armaments factories in Warsaw. They also moved a lot of production you know, factories that they captured back to Germany, but they kept some going in, in Warsaw. And he was working in it, I think, as some sort of management over, oversight kind of thing. But he was also a member of the SA and changed his um, unit to the newly formed, um, you know, we're calling him SA Brigade here, um, the whatever was set up in Warsaw. So they did have some in you know, certain occupied territories. But, you know, you can abuse it as it's, because it has, um, there's suppression up here, it's not great, it's decent, um, you know, 13 suppression. So you can abuse, um, if you want to, uh, Third Reich events or GGA. But, um, so we can see here now with this, we're just, you know, we need to make more supplies. I'm going to go in and research play this for myself. But, um Make more supplies. Uh, keep that all going, you know, to keep your feeding your your income here. And it takes a big hit because um, it was what I know it was two two two, but even before that it was higher. So we've gone more than a fifty percent effective hit, but it's all based on two hundred ICs instead of uh, the larger and potentially earlier hit. Because you're building an IC today, and you're going to play it for four or six years that IC will be you know more effective at either building other ICs or more effective at building other things later on down the road so ICs sooner is more important than upgrades or reinforcements because you're not fighting anybody sooner so this is a way to maximize your IC growth 
um, staying within the rules. Yeah, it's a bit game, you know. But you know, reinforcement. Yeah, this is reserves. You know, this is you know, we're not at war. They're only you know the, the you form a, a fighter squadron. It only has half the fighters, kind of thing. Right now, you know, it's a training unit. Uh, our you know um, divisions. They're only at half strength. They're just training. The other the other half the guys are you know off working in some factory or on some farm. And they just show up you know half the year, a quarter of the year to do their army service and rotate through in peacetime upgrades. You're just not building as many arms as you should, but that is a little bit you know a little bit um, gamey. Sure, I will grant you that. And then of course with the changes here, you need more consumer goods. But yeah, that's sort of the power tip, pro tip to um, maximize and so then it's the towards end of November into um, into uh, 1937 you'll have this sort of big hit but it will be a less big hit it'll be concentrated and then you can get back to building more ICs and growing um, your industry so that's that's sort of the power tip and explanation of how it um, works how you can make sure that you get that um, and if you don't do that, switching over to the other screen, you either got to wait 15 days or if you click some of these buttons, you'll notice it, it'll be based on 150 ICs instead of the 200 it shows up there. So yeah, DSAFE is doing great, wondrous work um, with uh, Hearts of Iron 3. Uh, I really do appreciate his work. And um, yeah, good gaming. Thanks, everyone. Uh, again, post questions, comments, tips below. Um, doesn't mean I can answer them, but maybe I can. I'll read them all, of course. Uh, so thanks, everyone. See you next time.